Hello friends, this is Raj Sastri from Raj Option Trading. Today is December 4, 2021. Let's talk about top st stock to the heavy short ratio. A lot of people love buying stock to the heavy short ratio because they can create nice profit and swing trading opportunities and squeeze those short sellers. That's the reason why folks buy sh heavy short sh uh, ratio stocks because you can get quick profit if you trade them well. So with that, let's jump in and look at what stocks to buy. Uh, that's very important. Otherwise, you can uh, get burnt. Let's jump in here. So we will look at a quick market update and uh, also understand where do we go from here. Many of you want to know, hey, should we buy something? Will the market go further down? So there are a few indicators we, we can look at and understand whether we where we go from here. And then we look at the stock with the heavy short ratio. This is for you daredevils, you know, me included. I know many of you want to buy stock with the heavy short ratio and just jump in. And, you know, this is uh, typically works in the beginning. But when the times are a little difficult, like now, market is dropping off, we got to be more selective. That's why I have a few more criteria so we can um, narrow down the stocks and go after stronger candidates. And to do that, next uh, filter is really uh, stocks with a positive gross margin. So this is where this is a little more safer than the previous one here. This is not just stocks with a heavy short ratio, also includes stocks with a positive gross margin. You know, we progressively we are making some good progress here, and we are removing some weak links here, going after stocks with a positive gross margin. This is always better than the first one. And then we'll go into uh, next one here. Uh, looks like my sort is off. That's fine. So we will look at the uh, positive gross margin stocks here with and also positive sales growth. These are even stronger candidates as you can see here because they do have positive sales growth also. So this is for you who are a little more conservative and you want to make money uh, in the right way and go after positive sales growth candidates. These folks know how to grow top line. Uh, that's positive sales growth and bottom line. That's a gross margin. And then we go after even, even stronger candidates and we look at positive net margin. These companies are making money at the end of the day. These are not money losers. So we can look at these also. This is for even conservative type uh, investors. And then we'll go after uh, low debt candidates, including, you know, all these uh, filters are included. Plus we got low debt. This is for you who are super, super, um, you know, very conservative and you still want to play short squeeze game. You can go after this year and, you know, make some money that way. And we can also look at rule of 40. I know many of you like rule of 40 where, where sales growth plus gross margin greater than 40. These are great stocks. So let's look at a few of those where there's a high short ratio. So you can play swing trading game here and squeeze those short sellers and let's also look at the best way to grow your portfolio this will include rule of 40 positive net margin and low debt these could be good ones and these are the growth growth companies and finally uh, let's look at uh, when ttm when ttm squeeze or when heavy short ratio meets ttm squeeze these stocks have to go up or down quickly they can't wait they will not wait for anybody. Let's look at some of those stocks and see which stocks are going to go higher. So with that, let's start with the market update here and see where do we go from here. I know many of you are wondering about this. I will try to demystif demystify it for you and talk about what works for me. And you can also try to understand. And if you already know it, well, you can uh, just follow along. So with that, let's jump in here. From a market perspective on Friday, we had a, a down day as you can see here. We were down much lower uh, earlier in the day, but finally during the end of the day, we ticked up a little bit, so it's just down 59 points. NASDAQ, similar pattern here, down, down, down. Sky is falling off. I was uh, making some good buys along the way. And then finally, it ticked up a little bit, still down big time in the NASDAQ. And S&P 500, similar pattern here. It was selling off, selling off, selling off. Finally, a little bit stronger, uh, you know, finish here. The moment you see stronger finish, you know, that's a tell here. That tells you, you know what, futures might open up higher. So there is uh, some hope here, even though we can't um, hang our hats on it. But at least uh, I love strong finishes than down, down, down type day. 
On the negative side here, we got more uh, declining um, stocks here. 74% of um, S&P 500 stocks are declining, whereas 22% advancing. That's not a great sign here, but this was much worse before. So that's a quick glimpse for you on Friday's market action. We are not out of the woods yet, but uh, I think uh, there is some positive positivity toward the end of the day here. So with that, let's uh, look at top stock news here, uh, general stock news, and go from there. As you see here, Bitcoin loses 10,000 or 17%. You know, this is a great time to buy some great Bitcoin stocks here. I know many of you love Bitcoin. I've been stock stocking up on Bitly, BT, Marathon, um, you know, some of these Bitcoin stocks. And I think they will uh, do very well. Uh, I think we should uh, look at some of these good names and, you know, buy them as you look, see these big news here, buy some great stocks. And then you got your our friend Fauci, he's saying booster shots will likely give some uh, cross protection. I think it's always good. I know many of uh, many folks talk, took the shots much earlier. It may be wearing off. It's good to get some protection. Uh, if you are uh, believing the, in these shots. And then we got here at least uh, 20 people tested positive on this uh, Omicron virus here. We got to be careful here. Um, you know, we don't know about this uh, Omicron too much yet, but at the same time, we have seen this movie before. If the market falls, we can always start uh, buying slowly. Don't put all the money, buy slowly. That pays off nicely. <clears throat> and then we got here uh, Amazon.com. 200 pound gorilla uh, they beat the supply chain chaos with their own containers chartered ships and long haul planes i think amazon can do this they got deep pockets you know smaller retail players they can't afford uh, these type of um, you know um, these type of things here that's why they are losing out and then we, ha we have our president biden he pre signs the bill to prevent the shutdown that could be a good thing here we'll see how it goes and we got huge big news here. We got DocuSign. DocuSign had a nice uh, sun in the dale whole last year. Everybody working from home and nesting at home. People wanted to sign documents. Where do they go? DocuSign. But what happened now? Now some of those uh, bumps are going down. Uh, it's pretty much back to normal at many, um, you know, many, many levels. That's why DocuSign is plunging here. I think we got to look at this company. I like this company. I'd be, I will be slowly buying this stock here as uh, they plunge here and, uh, you know, go from there. And you got Marvel here, a great 5G play here. They're up nicely after the earning. You know, I'd been uh, stocking up on this while ago. I'll be holding this for a while. I will not be buying it right now. Then we got Alta Beauty. Alta Beauty is a great stock. Whether folks are nesting at home or they're working from office, they always put, like to put the makeup on because they have to go through the Zoom meetings and uh, some of these meetings. So I think that's a good stock here. I'll be waiting for a little pullback and then buy Alta Beauty. And one of my favorite stock here is CrowdStrike here. Stock, uh, you know, went up after the earnings beat and then then fell off. I would be, you know, slowly adding to my position on the crowd strike. It's a great stock to buy on this uh, discount here. So with that, I'll jump in and look at market action. For that, I will take you to Thinkorswim from TD Ameritrade. Let's uh, start from the top here and look at uh, uh, market action here and look at the futures market here. As you see here, you know, it's a down day last couple of days, as you can see here, big down candle here. One more candle down, one more candle down. So as you can see here, at the high level, stock market is uh, you know kind of um, co coming down big time. Finally, now we are below 100-day moving average here. Um, I think we got to be careful at these levels here. It's okay to slowly start buying, but uh, don't put a lot of money. As the market falls big time, just a nibble here and there. Buy your, your favorite stocks, quality stocks that we'll talk about and take it from there. And same story here, as you can see here, NASDAQ uh, falling off here below 100-day moving average. So as it takes 100-day uh, moving average down here, you got to be careful. 
um, you know, next one could be 200 day moving average. We have to be a little bit careful here, but I've been buying slowly so that way we, we are uh, safe here. Put some money to work as the market falls. And then you got Dow Jones Industrial Average. This is a little more weaker as you can see here. You tried to take on 200 day moving average, but went higher. So we got to be careful, buy some quality names as usual. And finally, we got here Russell 2000. This one is below 200 day moving average. Uh, the smaller cap stocks uh, like Russell 2000, they don't have all the uh, required assets and capital required to fight these supply chain issues. That's why they are a little bit below 200 day moving average. There are great stocks that we can buy and profit from it. So you can look at my other segments where I talk about stocks and what to buy beaten down stocks. You can look at that segment that tells you which beaten down stocks you can buy in, in S&P 500, NASDAQ, um, uh, Dow Jones, as well as Russell 2000. So with that now, what we'll do is uh, you might want to, you might wonder, how do I know whether this sell-off is over or uh, should I jump in and buy? What are few indicators? I always look at few indicators. I will take you through a few of them and uh, you know, we'll go from there. Uh, so as you look through here, I always try to look at uh, SKU. It's one of my famous uh, indicators. As you look through here, look, we got S&P 500 doing nicely, nicely. This is before COVID. Look nicely going up. See what's happening as it go, goes higher. Keep watching down here, SKU. SKU hit the top here and S&P 500 is still going up. So SKU gives you a heads up maybe a month or so or two weeks in advance. You know what? Something is up. You got to be careful. Even though S&P 500 is going higher, 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 SKU, SKU is kind of going lower. That tells you there's a divergence between S&P 500 and SKU. This is when you kind of buy your put options and uh, get ready for the market to you know sell off. That's how you make money, get a heads up from the SKU here, and then you know just buy some put options on the stocks which are insanely high valuation. Even S and P 500 for that matter, there is a prompt. Most 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 often, market will fall off, uh, fall off, and you'll make some good money off of your put options that you bought. And similarly, look here as the market is going up and up and up. Look what's happening to AUD JPY. I know many of you may not be paying attention to Australian dollar and uh, you know JPY Japanese yen, but it, you know even though you don't buy currencies, it's good to watch them because look what's happening. We got COVID uh, pre-COVID days here. Uh, people you know borrowed against uh, you know against Japanese yen, bought Australian dollars. Uh, Japanese yen is a lower uh, interest rate. Australian dollar is higher interest straight then they borrowed against it and bought commodity stocks and whatnot they bought the risky assets that's why as you can see here uh, this pair AUD JP went up and up and up meaning people uh, bought low interest rate currency um, and uh, um, uh, you know they sold low interest rate currency bought high interest rate currency borrowed against it and bought these high risky assets here like commodity stock gold and that went well but see here, it went up, up and up, and keep watching S&P 500 still up, up and up, but this started going down slowly. Even the S&P 500 is going higher, higher, higher. Look here, this carry trade as we call it, it started going south. That's a one more tell for you. When you see carry trade, AUD, JPO start going down, even when S&P 500 is going higher, that tells you, hey, you know what, risk is off now. You got to be looking at even buying put options or selling your stock a little bit so that way you, you are prepared for this downturn here. At least here, you got two tells here. One tell is uh, skew here. Skew is trying to go down as S&P 500 is going higher. That's your tell number one. Tell number two, AUD JPY is uh, going higher, 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 but it started making its way down here. At the same time, S&P 500 is going higher. That's your tell two. As, as SQ and AUD JPY diverge, you know, from S&P 500 that tells you, you know what, time to buckle up and buy some put options, get ready for a rollover here.
that's how I kind of look at it and go from there and keep watching Wix here now Wix is jumping higher 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 market is coming down that's why you got to be a little careful here and go from there now you might wonder okay that's a story uh, you know two years ago or one year ago tell me what's going to happen now look what's happening now we got uh, we got S&P 500 going higher 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 skew is going higher 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 look here skew is uh, falling off here and S&P 500 is also falling off and look what's happened to AUD JPY that's also falling off so as as both are falling off here in here I think as you look through here um, you know we didn't have too much heads up as you can see here uh, but look what's happening here AUD JPY this already gave us a heads up here so as market is going higher and higher AUD JPY carry trade already started going south that's what that's a tell here that tells you, you know what we got to be careful here buy some puts and get ready for a market pullback so in this situation right now this carry trade AUD JPY did tell us market is going to roll over and uh, that's that's a good tell you know between you know when when both Q and uh, AUD JPY they tell you that's a sure shot when just AUD a JPY tells you gives a heads up that's also a good one you should uh, listen to that and uh, buy some productive puts and take some money off the table and be ready for uh, next uh, you know little bit pullback so that we can make money there that's how I look at it so I want to make sure you also understand this uh, dynamics here and go from there and one more thing I also look at is uh, this whole, um, we call it market internals. You know, market internals is like, uh, you know, like your EKG. Uh, for any, if you go to a doctor's office, they will look at all your levels. <clears throat> this is something similar. I always try to look at market internals. This chart is a little bit busy, but will give you an idea. As you see here, as the volume goes lower, that tells you more, more sellers than buyers. You got to be a little bit careful here. So if I, you know, make it a little bigger here, as you look through here, the volume is generally, as you see here, going lower off late here. So as uh, more, uh, as there are more sellers than buyers, you got to be careful. We had a nice surge here and fell over. So we got the middle of the line here, but then you can see what's going on here. Off late volume is a little bit, uh, the, the selling volume is higher than the buying volume. That's why it's trending down here. That's one thing that you got to watch out for. Are there more buyers than sellers? This uh, dollar VOL SPD that tells you if there are more buyers than sellers. Right now we are below zero line here that tells you there are more sellers than buyers. Then we got skew. Skew we talked about this already. You got to watch out how the skew is. If the skew hits above 150, be careful. Be a little more protective and buy some uh, you know good uh, put options as an example. As you see here, market went up and up and up, and skew is also going higher. But then skew is rolling over here that tells you market will ro roll over. Then there is a trader sentiment that also tells you are the traders bullish or bearish. Right now it's above one here. I think which is a little bit okay after this sell off. Uh, you know, folks are really buying a little bit, but look here, uh, we had a huge drop as you can see here. It's good to watch trader sentiment so you get a good idea. You know what's going on here. Look, there's a huge drop here in the trader sentiment. Now it's slowly going higher. And then we got tick here. Tick is for you who are day traders and who want to trade S&P 500 futures. As the tick goes higher here, you know, above say 800 or 900, you know, look what's happening to market. Market is also going south here. That tells you, hey, you know what, uh, you can, uh, you know, slowly initiate some, uh, you know, some positions in S&P 500 futures um, and get ready. So this is what, you know, as, as it goes all the way higher or lower, you got to watch out, you know, you got to watch out only spikes here, don't trade otherwise. If it's all the way low like this here, that tells you, you know, mark in this case, market is going higher, higher, higher. Uh, so, you, you know, by looking at these spikes here, you either buy S&P 500 futures when it's uh, low or you sell S&P 500 futures when it's high. And then we got here VIX, VIX as you can see, you know, after after going down, down for a long time, VIX is jumping higher here. This is when the VIX is jumping higher here, when S&P 500 is falling here, you got to watch out for put call ratio. Put call ratio, <clears throat> as you can see, this tells you, can you make money by selling put options? So what this tells you is really right now, 
you can make nice money by selling put options that's why put call ratio is high right now volatility is high so that's when you can make some money selling some uh, put options deep 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 uh, out of the money in the mean, meaning all the way below current stock price very very deep below current stock price and you can make some big money this, this is when volatility also spikes here so this is a tell here to understand when can you sell put option and make money if this put call ratio is high you can make good amount of money and then you got AUD JPY we talked about this already um, as as uh, AUD GPF, G, uh, JPY falls stock market will also fall AUD, AUD GPY will give you some heads up see here market is going up and up but AUD GPY has start, already started rolling over that's a heads up for you you know what market is going to roll over be careful look at these signs that will always help you last but not least uh, dollar right now dollar is uh, staying pretty much pat here or pretty sitting pretty not too much issue staying flat so we can ignore it for now these are the market internals i always pay clo close attention it always pays off so with that let's jump in here and look at um, you know stock here and see what to do you know always look at uh, s p 500 futures even though you don't trade stock um, you know futures it's good to know what's going on right now what it's telling me is you know as it goes to march as you, as we go into march look here right now uh, futures are trading at 4533 and in the march time frame it's 4527 it tells you it's a trading market don't expect too much up or down here pretty much trading range and you might wonder what will happen next week as you look through here next week we are expecting about 173 points up or down so pretty much trading range as, as we call it not a big deal here and now what we'll do is uh, we look at what what will happen in next year of march same here um, i think there's a good uh, 1789 up or down here so we got to be careful it can go up or low down but pretty much trading range you know, for near future here and now let's jump in and look at uh, you know heavily shorted stocks and look at the news in the heavily shorted stocks here look we got a um, tattoo chef here it's been going down 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 for a while here high short ratio 37 percent i think at these levels at 15 dollars it, it's good to slowly accumulate some tattoo chef here given that it's a nice gross margin as you can see here and then you got your uh, lithium quantum scape uh, blink charging these stocks got destroyed uh, but look here it's got a high short ratio the blink has got a high short ratio here nice quarter over quarter sales growth and nice gross margin at these levels I'll, i'm slowly accumulating blink so that way i can take advantage of this whole big short um, uh, interest level here and then you got beyond meat beyond meat is really uh, going through the meat grinder right now uh, big time down here as you can see here uh, high short ratio 64 dollars this used to be a you know uh, above hundred dollars a couple of months ago look what's going on here uh, supply chain issues and um, you know all these uh, demand side issues here and supply side issues you got to be careful here i'm slowly accumulating this i'm sure this will go um, do much better there are a lot of people who don't want to buy meat and they're turning into beyond meat so i think it's a good one uh, but there will be some shorter term pain if you can take it you can slowly buy but understand that the supply chain issues are persisting here and then you got your our friend kathy wood is uh, going shopping here she's looking at tulio zoom toast all great stocks um kathy has is not doing well off late as many of you might be knowing but i think some of her picks are good here you can slowly start buying at these levels and go from there look at toast here high short ratio 30 percent and a nice gross margin here i think it's a good one to slowly buy they don't have too much debt also i think it's a good one to buy slowly here and then you got your up fintech here tiger tiger achieved the annual target here i think tiger has been going down big time as you can see here and high short ratio i've been slowly accumulating tiger i think it's a good one to buy at these levels nice gross margin nice uh, you know nice uh, um, even gross margin and also sales here it's a good one to buy handily beats rule of 40 here and then you got 3d systems here ddd looks like we got some uh, new uh, coo here 
uh, board of director actually. As you look through here, high short ratio, stock has been selling off here. This one is a great one to buy. It's, it's a good 3D printing stock here. And then you got Nikola here. Um, they're saying the inflation is keeping their uh, truck cost higher. Look, high short ratio here. You know, I'm a buyer of uh, Nikola slowly at these levels <clears throat> and accumulate. And then you got your Derm Tech, one of my favorite stock here. This has been going down as you can see here. Right now, short ratio 23%. At these levels, I think you can slowly buy some uh, Derm Tech here and take it from there. Now, what we'll do is uh, we'll look at uh, some more details here and we'll look at some stock with a high short ratio and go from there. As you look through here, first let's jump in and look at sectors and trends and see what's going on here. Look, uh, we got here the big indices, S&P 500, QQQ, EEM, IWM, Dow Jones Industrial Average. See what's going on here. They've been doing great, as you can see here, for 5-year, 10-year. So it, this tells you these are good long-term plays. But in the short term, look what's going on in 1 day, 5 day, 10 day. We have pain right now. They're going down right now, as you can see here. This could be a good time. Look, all the RSI levels are low here. And look at the volume, very high volume. So at these levels here, you know, it's uh, good to slowly start nibbling here and slowly start buying them. Um, you know, as we see here, NASDAQ is a little bit more weaker compared to S&P 500. And um, look here, IWM is more weaker. I think it's good to buy some quality stocks in this area. You can look at, look at my beaten down um, how to buy beaten down stock uh, segment and pick up some good stocks in these areas. And next we'll look at a uh, few more here. We got uh, financial stocks mainly. Um, you know, these financial stocks uh, like XLF, they will get some benefit if interest rates falls. I mean, if interest rates goes higher. Right now they're not doing well. There are some great names in the fintech and finance area that we can buy. You can look at my, you know, fintech uh, stock, um, you know, YouTube here and pick up some great fintech stocks and buy them slowly. And look here, we got uh, high yield, uh, you know, you know, uh, shares here, ETF here. That's going higher. So as there is news about inflation picking up, the high yield will make some profit here. That's why, you know, bank stocks are going down. Interest rate is going higher. That's what is going on here. And then you got energy here. Energy is a little more stronger compared to other areas, just down 0.8% as you can see here. On the other hand, bonds are becoming stronger here. As the bonds are becoming stronger, I think we got to watch out here. Interest rates will be taking some toll here. That's why bank stocks are going down as you can see here. Then we got utilities. As interest rate falls, people go into utilities. You know, think about American Electric Power, Verizon, uh, Wireless, and some of these utility stocks, they tend to do well when interest rates uh, come down because folks will swap out of treasuries and go into uh, utilities. And then you got real estate. Real estate is also, you know, a little bit stronger as you can see here. As inflation picks up, typically real estate does better. That's why you'll see real estate going higher here. And we got here big Bitcoin. Big time Bitcoin is in a big, big, big pain here, as you can see here. It is a good time to buy some Bitcoin stocks here. And if you're up to it, you can also buy, you know, some Bitcoin itself um, in the exchanges like Coinbase, as an example, and go from there. I like to buy Bitcoin stocks like BTBT, Marathon, and even the blockchain company, um, you know, Riot Blockchain, ROIT, and take it from there. <clears throat> Next, we we'll look at uh, you know consumer staples, healthcare, and gold. These are the you know these are a little more um, conservative type sectors here. You know when when there is a, when people sense a lot of risk in the market, they will put money into these conservative uh, areas. You got to buy you know groceries. You got to buy toilet rolls. That's why these tend to do well when there is uncertainty in the market because these are steady eddy type uh, stocks here. And when there's a risk on, people put their money into these areas. So you got to be you got to be careful when these uh, defensive names go higher. That means uh, you know stock market might be rolling over. That's why you got to be a little bit careful here. Right now, money is going out of these high risk areas, going into a little more conservative areas like consumer staple, healthcare, and gold. 
And finally, we got uh, high risk areas like technology, consumer discretionary, um, semiconductors and uh, biotech. Look, everything is going down here. Given folks are a little bit risk aversive, they're putting their money into defensive areas and taking money out of these, uh, you know, high growth areas. That's what's going on. Risk off and buy some uh, low, um, you know, risk areas like XLP, XLV and uh, GLD. That's what's going on. It's good to understand the dynamics here and uh, play along. And then let's, let's look at uh, major trends, what's going on here. Look, it's a bloodbath. Uh, semiconductors are is still holding up pretty okay at this levels, but everything is down. Stock is on a sale here. I think it's good to buy some at these levels here. Only semiconductors is, has a little bit higher RSI here or relative strength index. Everything is uh, down here. That's why it's a great time to buy some quality stocks and go from there. So as you can think through, I think you know stock market may be preparing for a um, Santa, Santa Claus rally here. Um, it's uh, coming down nicely around uh, Christmas. This can go higher so that way it's good to buy some stock right now and uh, slowly and take it from there. So with that now, let's jump in here and look at uh, stock with a heavy short ratio and volume is greater than 1 million shares. You know, this is for you who are daredevils and you just love to buy short squeeze, short squeeze um, or a heavy short ratio stocks. So this is our, you know, our first screen here. So these are, you know, for the daredevils as you call it. Look here, we got the uh, top stocks here, CRTX, $13 stock here. Stock has been, uh, you know, go 18% down. And look, high short ratio, 45% highest in this list here. And, you know, right now, look, RSI is low here. You know, I'm a contrarian. I had been stocking up on this a little bit. I think it's a good one to stock up given there is a, you know, uh, high RSI here. It's always trying to make some progress in 5-day, 10-day. That tells you it's, uh, it might be squeezing the short a little bit. On the downside, I don't see volume here. Volume is a little bit lower. So if the volume is higher, it's a good tell. But right now, stock is going down. Um, and you know volume is low which which is okay you know if the stock is going down on a low volume that's a good tell here so i've been accumulating this slowly i think we can expect a nice uh, short squeeze type situation here hippo as you can see here i think this uh and also some good results here this might go higher on uh, monday here look it's been going down 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 and um, just the negative net margin as you can see here if you're a daredevil you can buy some hippo but this might go up on monday given they, they had some good announcement. And we've got a few more here. Uh, keep a look at these and also keep a watch on stocks with the high insider uh, buying here, like PPSI here, and few more like BYSI and so on and so forth. Keep watching how the stocks are doing in one day and five day, 10 day here. Um, right now it's a bloodbath here. That's why you got to you know look for better candidates with the nice sales growth and nice gross margin. Rule of 40 indicated by a green background in the ticker column here. Those are the great stocks you could buy here given they got uh, nice uh, top line growth, nice bottom line growth and high short ratio. You know, take advantage of the downturn and buy stocks like uh, go to. It's uh, very low here. It's good to start slowly accumulating it. I know this uh, takes some guts here. It's a contrarian stock here. I've been buying go to as, as they go down below. Uh, $3 and $2.5 and slowly accumulate this set a good trading stock and then you got few more as you can see here and HRTX is a good one to slow, slowly accumulate here and go from there we got very good names here keep watching the debt weekly ratio gross margin and go after better candidates we'll look at those as we go forward and then you've got a few more here. Keep watching the you know short ratio here. You know, it's in the descending order, it's becoming low, 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 as you can see here. Look at the stock with nice insider buying and institution buying, like Fubo TV here. That's a good one. Institutions are buying, as you can see here. Nice uh, quarter over quarter sales growth here. And then you got a few more as you can look look here. Look, the stocks like R, uh, RGS Regis here is trying to go higher in the short term. That's also a tell that tells you this is ready to squeeze those shorts here. And also look at the stocks that are going high in a one day, five day, like big lots, like CLR. They're telling you, hey, we are done with this downturn. We want to go higher. Same story with Rocket and Tiger too. 
also watch for the volume here whenever you see a uh, green background here like the one here uh, BTB that tells you the volume is tri twice the normal three month average that tells you it's a little more stronger here uh, it's, it's it's good to look at those those stocks here and also look at stocks like tiger here this tells you the volume is 1.5 times normal volume and stock is going up on a higher volume that's always a good tell on the other hand when you see a red background here that tells you stock is uh, you know um, 75 times lower than the you know average volume here even though stock went higher uh, which is the uh, regis here but it's on a lower volume so you got to watch it carefully and go from there and next we look at few more here and um, same cont continuation uh, look at uh, cassava here sawa great trading stock here insiders are buying cassava and uh, stock is has a high short ratio has been falling off this is also a good one to slowly accumulate um, as a contrarian because it doesn't have any positive sales growth and because it doesn't have good fundamentals i think it's a good one to slowly accumulate i'd be in buying some cassava um, you know not too much but as a you know lower allocation i think it, it always gives some nice surprise uh, once in a blue moon and then you got a few more here look at uh, Calon petroleum um, you know this has been uh, rocky road goes up and down nicely at this time insiders are buying and stock has been going down rsi is uh, low here just 40 it's good to buy some cpe given this uh, up and down stock big time and keep watching we got a few more areas like woozy here you know institutions are buying big time and we got uh, virgin galactic richard branson's company and btbt achr so on so forth great companies many of them have got nice uh, you know sales growth and gross margin look btbt is a steal at this price here you could slowly accumulate and take it from there i also like uh, lemonade Pars.com is one of my favorites here you could buy that one too along with the other names here great ones it's good to accumulate keep watching what uh, how is the volume for example Carvana and Hibet nice volume here uh, I think you should uh, pay attention to those nice volumes uh, it's good to see what's going on there and buy some so with that let's jump in here and look at a few more and also keep watching the stocks that are making higher here nls after dropping a while here is trying to go higher in uh, one day and we got one more here a a c h r trying to go higher that's a good tell here they're booking the trend and trying to go higher on a high short ratio that tells you they're ready to squeeze those shorts and we got uh, you know a little more better way to grow your portfolio safely here positive gross margin low rsi and volume greater than 1 million shares so this is for you who are a little more conservative you don't want to risk uh, too much of your money here and you want to trade safely so with that as you see here look at these names here uh, keep watching the gross margin all positive and look at uh, debt ratio here um, uh, so so this positive gross margin low rsi so we got positive gross margin as you can see here all of them have got positive gross margin and rsi is also low you know this is for you who want to be a little more careful here we got great names keep watching institution buying and insider buying those are great catalysts for example toast toast is a good one right now even though it's going down we know insiders and institutions are buying you could uh, buy along with them same story cinemark uh, institutions are buying here and we got nicola same story keep watching the volume also as usual if the volume is higher um, on a uh, up day here like big lots that tells you this one is already slowly squeezing the shorts here and a good one here and with that let's look at few more same category positive gross margin low rsi keep watching inside the institution buying here and go along and buy with them and take it from there and if the stock is making some move in one day and five day like uh, sig here signet after uh, this is not signet this is uh, nls here that's a good tell here that's ready to squeeze the shorts and same story with the good rx here this also re this one is also also ready to squeeze the shorts here and take it from there pay attention to the volume here the higher volumes more than twice the volume those are the good ones to take a look at and buy slowly and we got continuation here uh, keep watching there are great great stocks here and kirkland has dropped off big time 
Uh, this one has done very well, around 1000% last year. Uh, this is a home decor company. Uh, it, it did very well when everybody everybody nested at home. Right now it's uh, down after the earnings. I'm slowly buying some Kirkland and taking it from there. And same story with 8x8. It did very well last year with everybody uh, doing the meetings from home. Right now it's dropping off along with the 59 Zoom and all these video conferencing type systems here. It's good to slowly buy them. Keep watching insider institution buying geo nice institution buying keep watching what's going on in the near term here like right aid could be a good one to slowly buy here given it's trying to make some move here so with that let's look at a few more here so this is a better way to grow your portfolio these stocks in addition to positive gross margin uh, and low RSI, low RSI, they also have a positive sales growth. This is for you who want to grow your portfolio nicely and, uh, you know, you want both top line as well as bottom line growth. So with that, these are the stocks here. Keep watching. Nice uh, quarter over quarter sales growth, all positive, positive gross margin. So these companies know how to grow top line as well as bottom line. Keep watching inside institution buying. Those are great ones here. And also keep watching what's going on in the near term here. Look, stocks like ATUS here, try to make a move. A good one to buy at these levels. This one is already squeezing the shorts here. I would have liked the volume to be a little higher, but it's a little low here, but that's okay. But with that, let's look at a few more here. Keep watching the high volume candidates like Vibo here. Good to slowly buy some. Uh, it's been down big time and we got here uh, derm tech one of my favorite high volume here a good one to buy and eastman uh, uh, okay that's the derm tech here and even chain or data cd has been going higher could be okay to slowly buy some chain or data and take it from there and we got bt bt going higher that's a good one too same story the prts and with that we got a few more here same category positive gross margin Positive sales growth, great stocks here. Keep watching inside institutions here. Good, uh, good RX, VTNR, as well as FT, FT here. Nice institution buying here. And keep watching what's going on near term. We got, we have here good RX trying to go higher. That's a good one. That's trying to squeeze those shorts. We got two more here. Right aid along with the camping world here. Trying to go higher. Those are good ones. Keep watching unusual volumes where you have a green background which is twice the normal volume and green font that tells you that's 1.5 times the normal volume and red font means uh, you know volume is 50 percent down so keep attention to those also and select really buy and we got a few more here same category here positive sales growth positive gross margin and keep watching what inside institution doing here sorrento finally institution are buying same with the dgly and we've got a few more. Look, Ring Energy, both institutions and insider buying. That could be a good one to slowly buy here, given RSI is low here. And pay attention to watch how stocks are doing in near term. If you see green in one day, five day, they're already squeezing the, squeezing the shorts here, like PBF here. And we got a few more, as you can see here, RRC. And we got uh, So Young uh, doing great here, and so on and so forth. Keep watching the volume here. High volume means uh, it's you have to pay attention there. <clears throat> and now we got better way to uh, grow your portfolio. In addition to positive gross margin, positive sales growth, these stocks have got low debt. Pay attention. These are great ones you could buy here and take advantage. Go after quality when the market is down so you can uh, profit from it. So with that, these are the ones here. Keep watching. Great stocks. Nice sales growth here. Uh, nice gross margin and low debt. These are the great candidates to buy here and keep watching. We got stocks like Tiger already up in one day here, already, already trying to squeeze the shorts here and keep watching the high volume candidates. Those are the good ones you can buy slowly and accumulate. So great stocks. I love stocks like Derm Tech, uh, DDD is a good one, Tiger is a good one, BTBT BT, great one and same story with the parts.com. Many of these have got rule of 40 satisfied indicated by green highlight or green background here. And continuation here, uh, again, great stocks here. You could look at these. Anaplan has been drop, dropping off big time after the earnings. A great one to buy. 
United States Steel trying to go higher. Uh, that's also a good one. You got one more here. So Young trying to go higher as you can see here. And you got Stitch Fix. Finally, Stitch Fix is trying to go higher on a nice volume here. 1.5 times normal volume. You could take advantage here. This uh, this stock knows how to squeeze those shorts. I've seen that many times. And look, we got a few more stocks with high volume here. You should pay attention. This is unusually high volume, two times the normal three month average. So with that, let's jump in here and look at a few more. So same category here, all these work here. Keep watching how, what institutions are doing. BLI, Berkeley, a biotech company. Institutions are buying here. I would be a buyer along with them too. Pay attention to volume and what's, how stocks are doing in one day, five day. And look, we got a, my favorite company, Pax here. Um, has been going down good to slowly accumulate and stocks like growth generation good one to slowly accumulate and we got great stocks here like Teladoc is a good one to buy slowly as well as ELY Callaway Golf great great one here and GameStop I think earnings is coming up good to buy it's beaten down at these levels here and we got a better way to grow your portfolio here in addition to um, you know, sales growth and gross margin greater than 40 or rule of 40. These uh, stocks also have a positive net margin. As you see here, these are the list here. We don't have too, too many stocks here. Keep watching here. These are great companies. Positive sales growth, positive gross margin tells the top line, bottom line is covered here. And look here, positive net margin. So these are great ones. If you want to be super conservative, you know, don't look go after stocks with the high debt ratio indicated by red, and go after the other ones. That that will make you even more conservative, and go after quality when the markets are down. Keep watching insiders here, BTBT, uh, DG, LY, and uh, right blockchain. I think uh, with the blockchain. And crypto dropping off here, a BTBT and a right blockchain makes makes a great candidate to buy some and take it from there. Keep watching high volume candidates. That's a tell again. So with that, we got continuation here, and I think these are the great stocks. Look, we got Chinese names like Bao Zun here after dropping off big time. Um, you know, it's a good one to slowly buy. And we got Yelp, which is one of my favorite. And we got a few more as you can scan through here. Um, and finally, let's look at the best way to grow your portfolio, low RSI um, and 1 million plus shares traded, sales growth plus gross margin greater than 40%, net margin positive and low debt. This is for you who are super, super, super conservative. You do want to, uh, you want to go after quality and don't want to throw your money at these short squeeze names. Look, this is a short list here. This kind of filtered down big time and only got the big, uh, great stocks for you. Look, nice sales growth, nice gross margin and net margin positive low debt. This is the ultimate screen here, again, with high short ratio. So these are the great stocks you could, you could buy here. Stocks like So Young, it's already going higher as you can see here, trying to squeeze the short and same story with Tiger. And look at the high volume candidates. You know, indicated by green background means twice the vo normal volume, and also green font means 1.5 times normal volume. Great stocks here. You could go after these and uh, buy them for long haul, and go from there. <clears throat> Look, Bitcoin is down big time. You could buy some BTBT, right blockchain, even Marathon, Marathon M A R A, even though it's not here. And also, you could buy great stocks like uh, Pags here, DDD, and so on, so forth. So with that last segment is uh, when TTM squeeze meets high short ratio. This is where you know these stocks have to go up or down quickly and we'll look at those and take it from there. So as we look through here, this is a short list here. Uh, we've got a high short ratio as you can scan through here. Um, you know all uh, many of these have high short ratio as you can see here um, and they also have a nice uh, squeeze here indicated by one day or three day or one month here the key is to look at the stocks that are a little more stronger look we got stocks like uh, the one here conoco philip there's a 10 day positive here um, and we got a daily squeeze could be a good one to buy here and we got um, a marathon international a hotel chain here trying to be a little stronger in five days that's also a good one here and you could look at other candidates like cig here 
um, that also works here and you could look at names that are going, doing well here GLW and so on and so forth keep watching the high volume candidates and you could uh, look at those also so this is the ultimate stock here and many of these if you're if you're after quality go for stock with a nice uh, you know rule of 40 satisfied as you can see here all green background candidates and if you're even more conservative go after net margin positive companies and low debt companies which are uh, not in red and uh, go from there those are super sense you know uh, Pretty super nice stocks here. You could take advantage of high short ratio as well as the TTM squeeze here. So with that, uh, we got one more list here because market is down. We are getting more selections here. All great names here. Look nice squeeze here. One day or you know three day, five day. At the same time, many of these names have got high short ratio here. Keep watching the short ratio. Um, because many of these names have got a nice uh, short ratio you could take advantage and go from there so with that uh, we got one more list here because market is down we got more selection here uh, that's what i love about uh, market uh, down situation you could be more selective and put your money after best candidates so with that um, uh, thank you very much happy investing and trading please subscribe